Welcome back to The Truth is Viral. My name is Bob Powell, and have I got great news for you folks tonight. Special Agent Daniel P. Love of the Bureau of Land Management, the jackbooted thug that led the BLM response Bundy protest in 2014 at the Bundy Ranch in Bunkerville, has been fired. That's right, according to AP, U.S. agent is out of a job after Burning Man probe. AP reports that Dan Love, who played a command role in the federal agent's 2014 standoff with Nevada rancher and state's rights figure Cliven Bundy, no longer works for the agency. That from uh, agency spokeswoman Megan Crandall. She did not answer the questions about the timing or the circumstances of his departure, citing federal privacy laws. A lawyer for Love, Lisa Klein, did not immediately return messages seeking comment, and there was no answer at a publicly listed telephone number for him. Love still worked at the agency on August 24th when a federal investigative report was released saying that he handed out valuable stones known as Moki Marbles to colleagues and a contractor like Candy, as one witness told investigators. The rocks are unique geological formations of iron oxide that form in sedimentary rock, and the agency was holding them as evidence in an investigation into whether they were illegally collected from an unnamed national park, according to a U.S. Department of Interior report. And I'm going to stop reading right there for a second because I want to point out that this is exactly what Love accused uh, Dr. James Redd of doing in Operation Cerebus. He hounded that man, harassed his family, until he felt that the only course of action available to him was to commit suicide. This guy is bad news, folks. The report also found that Love told an employee to delete some emails that contained bureau information that was requested by then U.S. Representative Jason Chaffetz in 2016. Another report released in January faulted Love for using his role overseeing security at the Burning Man Festival in Nevada's Black Rock Desert to buy otherwise unavailable sold-out tickets and having agents drive him around and his family during the Nevada event in 2015, as well as manipulating a job search for a friend. The Bundy Cattle Roundup pitted Bundy supporters against heavily armed BLM agents who, in the end, gave up efforts to collect Bundy cattle for non-payment of grazing fees. Bundy also led agents in a 2009 uh, Southern Utah artifact looting investigation that marked an early skirmish in the, US, in the Western U.S. conflict over control of public lands. He was sued over the artifacts raided by the family of Dr. James Redd, who killed himself after he was arrested. That case was dismissed, maybe with this uh, new evidence it can be re, uh, reinstated. Now, let's look at this uh, report by the Office of the Inspector General. It says, ethical investigation of ethical misconduct and violations by BLM supervisory agent. Now, this was released on January 30th. They had not yet named Daniel P. Love as the guy that actually uh, was a target of this investigation, but defense attorneys for the Bundys uh, put it together rather quickly because, you know, who else was there? Uh, it says that we investigated allegations that a Bureau of Land Management supervisory agent, Daniel P. Love, used his official position to provide preferential treatment for family members attending the 2015 Burning Man event in Nevada. The allegations also indicated that the agent improperly intervened in a 2015 hiring process for a special agent position that facilitated the hiring of his friend instead of other qualified applicants. We found that the agent violated federal ethics rules when he used his influence with Burning Man officials to obtain tickets and special passes for his family. He also directed on-duty BLM enforcement employees to escort his family in BLM procured vehicles, drove his BLM vehicle with his girlfriend, and directed his employees to make hotel reservations for his guests. We also confirmed that the supervisory agent's intervention in the special agent process or hiring process was to benefit a friend. Now, further, when that investigation was completed, let's look at this. The investigative report of misconduct by a senior, B, senior BLM law enforcement manager, this report was released on August 24, 2017. And that report found that the senior manager, Daniel P. Love, mishandled evidence in the form of Moki Marbles, 
he received requests for email or after the BLM received requests for emails and documents concerning various matters under official inquiry, Daniel P. Love allegedly directed his subordinate to review the senior manager's BLM emails and delete any that depicted him unfavorably. That sounds like destruction of evidence to me, folks. During our investigation, we received additional information that documents were intentionally deleted from a BLM shared Google Drive the day before a congressional request was received for them. It says that we've uh, substantiated all but one of these allegations. We found that the senior manager, Daniel P. Love, instructed his subordinate to remove those monkey marbles from the evidence room and give them to him, which violated BLM and U.S. Department of the Interior evidence policy, and that he gave marbles to several people, including BLM employees and a contract who had worked on a project in the OEL, OLES office as souvenirs for Operation Serapis. We also confirmed that the senior manager, Daniel P. Love, ordered his subordinate to uh, use the senior manager's computer and personal login information to search the personal the senior manager's emails for messages pertinent to the document request and to scrub any message that could be deemed as harmful to the senior manager or any in which he used demeaning or derogatory language. The senior manager's actions, Daniel P. Love, violated federal security and records management policy as well as various regulations and guidance related to the conduct of federal employees. Uh, it says that they couldn't substantiate the allegation that certain documents had been deliberately deleted from the Google Drive and that they did not find anyone, including the senior manager or members of BLM leadership, had ordered the documents deleted, but they mysteriously were deleted. So. It's not what you know, it's what you can prove. The senior manager, Daniel P. Love, declined to be interviewed for this investigation. I wonder why. Even after reviewing all of the evidence presented in the Inspector General's report, the United States Attorney's Office for the District of Nevada declined to prosecute Daniel P. Love. And folks, that's a problem because the Inspector General's report is only the beginning of his criminality and malfeasance. That's not even touching what happened at the Bundy Ranch, where a uh, hard drive that recorded the transmissions between BLM headquarters and the snipers and, and the other assets that they had in the area mysteriously disappeared when the hard drive came unplugged at a crucial moment in the standoff. And uh, the defense attorneys have asked for uh, copies of the transmissions before the uh, and hard drive allegedly became unplugged and hopefully that will help shed some light on what was really going on behind the scenes. Now we've seen that this man has no problem with obstructing justice. We've seen that he has no problem with destroying evidence. He totally ignored orders from within his own chain of command to stand down the day before the actual standoff occurred. So this should have never happened in the first place. The Bundy should not be in jail. My friend Pete Santilli should not be in jail. Dan Love's criminality is plain for all to see, and for the United States Attorney's Office to decline to prosecute him is a travesty. So what we need to do, what you need to do, is give him a call. Their phone number in Las Vegas is 702-388-6336 or 1-800-539-8002. If you want to write him a letter, tell him how mad you are to demand that they prosecute Daniel P. Love on any charge that they can find. I want you to write to U.S. Attorney's Office, 501 Las Vegas Boulevard South, Suite 1100, Las Vegas, Nevada, 89101. And I'll put uh, all this information in the video description below this video and at bobpowell.blogspot.com. And uh, I want you folks to make those calls. I want you to write those letters because this cannot be allowed to stand. Don't just call them once. Don't harass them. I promise you that if you do, they're going to charge you with something. They're just aching, aching to send more patriots to jail on trumped-up charges. So just call them once, be respectful, but demand that Daniel P. Love be prosecuted for his crimes. Folks, I'm here to tell you, it all comes out in the wash. We're going to get the justice that we're seeking in the Bundy case. What we got to do is keep praying for justice to be done. 
I mean, look at what's happened so far. The federal government has thrown everything that they have at the Bundys. They've suspended their constitutional rights. They've totally thrown the Sixth Amendment right out the window. They've skewed evidence, prevented the defendants from testifying on their behalf, prevented defense witnesses that were there like Dennis Michael Lynch, uh, who's not under, under any charges at all. He was just simply a reporter there doing his job. They wouldn't let him testify. They won't let him testify as to why they came to the Bundy Ranch, and they won't let him testify as to what they saw. And the jury's seeing this. They know that they're being lied to. And the tighter the U.S. Attorney Stephen Myrie squeezes, the harder he squeezes his tyrannical little fist to try and, and, and silence the Bundys, the more truth comes out of his little weaselly fat sausage fingers. It's, 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 truth is like mud. You can hold it in your hand. But when you squeeze it, try to suppress it, it's all going to come out in the wash. That's just the way it is. And uh, I have no doubt that the same thing that's happened to the uh, federal government in the last three Bundy trials, the one in Oregon and the two earlier this year's a uh, uh, complete lack of substantial convictions, is going to happen again when uh, Tier 3 goes to trial on, on October 10th. So uh, make sure that you keep those folks in your prayers and, and, uh, and me too. And, and everybody else that's supporting the Bundys and, and standing up against this terrible and blatant federal overreach. I don't know what it is that Sarah, uh, Harry Reid has on, on Judge Navarro or, or uh, Prosecutor Myrie, but it's got to be pretty strong <laughs> in order to make them just throw away their careers by uh, not letting evidence about Daniel P. Love's criminality and his arrogance and the way that he disobeyed a direct order from his uh, chain of command the day before the actual standoff to stand down. They won't let any of that into court. I'd like to see how they're going to keep out his firing from the BLM. I'm, I'm sure they'll figure out a way. But uh, like I said before, the more they try to hide the truth, the more the jury sees through it. And that can mean nothing but... Uh, total exoneration in the end for the Bundys and, and my good friend and, and my dear brother Peter T. Santilli who was arrested and has been held for the last 19 months for the crime of live streaming the events at the Bundy Ranch as they happened. So let's keep all these folks in your prayers and uh, you know if you have the ability folks please go to bobpowell.blogspot.com and hit that paypal button i'm trying to raise enough money so that i can go out to the bundy trial in in nevada on on october 10th so that i can uh, you know cover it i don't know I, I can't take any credit for it because there were a lot of people praying and a lot of uh lawyers doing doing great work but not a couple of days after i landed in oregon for the first bundy trial they completely dropped the park charges against pete santilli <laughs> I wish they'd do it again. Maybe, maybe if I get, uh, maybe if I can get out there, it'll scare them enough so that they just don't even want to take it to trial at all. Because uh, I'm telling you, I'm a Marine Corps bulldog. I'm relentless. Once I sink my teeth into something, I will not let it go. So, uh, but in order to get out there, I do need your help. So please go to bobpowell.blogspot.com, hit that PayPal button. You can hit the donate button to make a one-time donation, or you can hit the subscribe button to. Uh, uh, make a, a monthly donation, five, ten, fifteen, twenty dollars, whatever you, whatever you can afford, whatever won't put you out. And then please, if you're living on a fixed income, like if you've got social security or, or disability payments, please don't donate. I don't want your money. I know how hard it is to live on it. Trust me, our Father in Heaven will uh, move those with the ability to donate financially. But you can like, share, and comment on this video and subscribe to The Truth is Viral on Facebook and uh, on Google Plus under Bobby Powell. I would tell you that you can go to Twitter and find me, but I was uh, banned for calling Kim Kardashian a skank. <laughs> Maybe one day I'll get back on there. I don't know. They won't let Milo on. I don't, 
I don't know if they'll let me back on. Uh, but this is great news. I, I love it. I'm having a really good time. And I just had to take a couple of minutes to tell you about it. The family's in there playing Monopoly. I'm going to get in there with them. And uh, I want to thank you folks for watching The Truth is Viral. My name is Bobby Powell. And as always, God bless. Super Fi. And hoorah. Thank you for watching The Truth is Viral with your host, Bobby Powell. Make sure to follow The Apocalypse on Twitter at The Truth is Viral. Like The Truth is Viral on Facebook. And if you can, please remember to donate to the cause via PayPal at www.bobpowell.blogspot.com.